Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to look at the book of Revelation. Spoiler alert! Have you ever seen this on a website or a social media post? I don't know about you, but I am thankful for this because most of the time I don't want any spoilers. I mean, I don't want to know who won the game if I'm going to watch it. I don't want to know the plot twist or the ending of a movie or a TV show. But there is one spoiler I do want to know. How the history of the world ends and what happens to mankind. Well, if you want the answers to those questions, you should read the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation was written by the Apostle John while exiled on the island of Patmos. John was writing this letter to seven churches in modern Turkey. He wrote this letter around 95 AD. The book of Genesis is the book of beginning of the universe, while Revelation is how this chapter of creation ends and eternity begins. Now, yes, there is disagreement over how this prophetic book should be interpreted. All agree this was written to assure the churches and us that Christ will return and will finalize all judgment and reward. The book can be cleanly divided into three parts. Chapter 1 is about the things which you have seen. Chapter 2 and 3 are about the things which are and chapters 4 through 22 are about the things to come. As I said, there is debate about how this book should be read. There is debate about various people and events. But according to Revelation chapter 1 verse 3, there is a blessing for reading this book, even if you don't understand everything. Revelation chapter 1, beginning in verse 1, says this, the revelation of Jesus Christ that God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who testified to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, whatever he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep what is written in it because the time is near. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ to John. So what exactly is then the main thing from this book? It's that Christ is coming soon. Revelation chapter 22 verse 7 says, Look, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. When this happens, friend, Jesus will defeat Satan. He will judge the damned, reward the saints, establish the new heaven and earth, and rule forever. It will be in that day, according to Revelation chapter 21, verse 4, that he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Grief, crying, and pain will be no more because the previous things have passed away. So here's my challenge for you today. Live today like it's your last. Jesus is coming soon. Knowing this, let's live with intentionality. If today was your last, what would you do? <laughs> then do it. Jesus said in Revelation 22:20, 20, Yes, I am coming soon. To that, we all should say, Amen, come, Lord Jesus. Amen.